Hi, my name is Mark House and I'm the RM Unified Product Manager. I'm here today to talk to you about RM Unified Network Provisioning. On the screen in front of you, you'll see an overview of the demonstration I hope to be able to show you today. So what RM Unified is trying to achieve is that uniformity of identities. The likelihood is that we have somebody in here, let's call them James Smith, and the difficult thing to achieve is to make sure that we only have one James Smith over here, the same James Smith, and only one James Smith over here. A lot of schools will have James Smith, but they'll have different James Smiths dotted around the school, and that's in no way ideal. If we have a thousand people in the school in here, we should have a thousand people in here, and we should have a thousand people in here. So in the model, you can see that every evening I am Unify um, takes account of who's an integrous and uh, brings in new users if necessary, creates new accounts if necessary, create new accounts here, and it does a bunch of management tasks over here and over here. It also does two-way password sync to the cloud. So if we change a password here, it'll flip up. If we change a password here, it'll flip down. So I think the best thing to do is get into the demo and show you that. So on this screen here, we have an RM Unify account. It's a management account. And on this screen here, we have a, a CC4 management console. In the, in the white uh, di uh, diagram I showed you a second ago, we had the situation where we were visioning from the MIS. But for the purpose of the demonstration today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user okay, from the uh, management console. So let's create a new student user. Always best to use somebody um, uh, relevant for the time. So let's create a user called Sam Smith. We'll say that Sam is a student. S. Smith is, a, is the name. U of entry 2014. Oops. Okay, Sam Smith, username S. Smith. Password, we're going to have S. Smith. I know that's not the worst password ever, but it'll help me in this demonstration. And we're going to click OK. And that will tell me that the user has been created. Now, as I said earlier, it's going to take five minutes for Sam to appear over here. But we can, if I come to the management console and go to the audit, just check that that's happened. And yes, staff number one has created a new user called Smith right here. Okay, on this side, why don't we do the password piece? So let's find a user my favorite DJ Trump and let's change Donald's password password is going to be great because Donald is always great click OK and his password is changed perfect all right so while we're waiting for the magic to happen between these two sides in the audit report, let's just investigate a bit further. You can see that the audit report itself gives you second by second descriptions of what's happening both in your cloud and in your network. I could, if I want, just check the cloud and see what's been happening on the cloud. I could check the network and see what's been happening on the network. I might want to on the cloud, for example, to see, well, have there been any manual users created? And yes, I have, and one we know that's been created has been Sam Smith. I could say, have there been any users created in the AD? And they have, including all these guys over here. But as yet, we're not seeing Sam Smith. I could, for example, see whether there has been anybody AD password changes detected. And there have. There's been a bunch of passwords detected over here. We haven't yet seen... Uh, DJ Chumps um, one uh, recorded in the admin console yet. Uh, what else can we have a look at here? We could see whether there have been any users disabled. Click go and there's been none disabled for that period. So you can see that by granulating by time <coughs> you can always have a perfect uh, picture of what's going on in your domain. So let's see whether or not enough time has passed. 
for us to be able to see whether uh, uh, all those changes have been made. Okay, so at the moment we've only got it here, we're just waiting for the AD notification to come through. As I say, uh, a couple of times we've done it, so we can see here, for example, that some I was uh, playing with earlier, that it can be anything up to five minutes. So Theresa May was created at 5.22, and in under a minute she appeared in the AD. However, some of the other ones, um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. So uh, Kevin Keegan here took over two minutes to come through. So we're just waiting at the moment for our guy Sam Smith to come through. Should be here any second. So we can see that uh, Donald Trump's password uh, has come through, which is great. And we can see, in fact, that Sam Smith has now been created over here. So I should be able to find now Sam Smith over here. Let me just see if I can find him. Whoops. But the demo gods need to help me. There he is. So Sam Smith is over here, created in the uh, created manual list off one, and there's now appeared over here. So let's have a look at uh, Donald Trump and check that everything's okay with him. Okay, so let's sign out of this guy here. And it said that sign in as DJ Trump. And yep, using our password, which if you remember is great, has signed him in. And if I open it to an explorer. It should fire him straight into our Unify, which it does. We can see that Donald Trump is up there. So uh, hopefully you can see what an immensely powerful tool this is. The fact that you can pretty much control everything using our own Unify at the, at the center here. We didn't talk about in this presentation about the fact that all of your classes, for example, come into here. And we didn't talk about the use of devices. We can do that in a separate talk. Thank you very much for your time today. I hope that is useful.